in a math class, it doesn't matter what order you multiply or divide in. They're interchangeable. And to some degree, that's true in Java also. However, it can get a little messy when you're dealing with integer division. Uh, I've talked previously about how when you have mixed math problems involving ints and doubles, uh, it's going to return a double. Okay? The larger variable is what's going to be returned. If you work only with integers, you get an integer. If you work only with doubles, you get a double. If you mix integers and doubles, you will get a double return. I've got four problems on the screen here. All four are going to give me an answer as a double. However, two of the four are going to give me a different value than the other two. Okay, so let's let's see what happens when we run these. All right, I got 0, 0.0, 2.5, and then the same thing. Now notice, even the 0, 0.0, every answer has been formatted to look like a double, okay? But I didn't get the same answer every time. Now, if I was if I were to do these problems in an algebra classroom, they would all have the same exact answer, okay? Because there's no difference in how you multiply and divide numbers in terms of the order, all right? But when we look here, there is a big difference. So what's causing this difference? Well, okay, multiplication and division have the same operator precedence in Java. So when there's a tie, the problem is read from left to right. And if you read this first problem from left to right, you're being asked to divide, as integers, 1 divided by 2. Now, I understand there's a double here, and that's why we got an answer that looked like a double. The reason that double division was not done is that the compiler had completed the integer division before encountering the double. So, in integer division, what is 1 divided by 2? It is 0. 0 times anything is 0. That's why we got an answer of 0, 0.0. Same thing in example 3. By putting the parentheses around the 1 half, I am forcing the compiler to consider that division first. 1 divided by 2 in an integer division problem in Java is going to result in a 0, thus giving us 0, 0.0. Okay. If you look at my other two examples, what we see different is that right here, I see 5.0 times 1 as my first operation. So what happens in that case is the multiplication is formed. Since it's a mixture of a double and an integer, the answer is 5.0. Okay. After that, we divide by 2. And this is a, also a mixture of a double and an integer, and we get 2.5. Okay? In the third example, the fourth example, similar, okay? this time 5 times 1 results in 5, which is an integer. However, it is being divided by a double. So at this problem, when the division takes place, we see a mixture of an int and a double. In this problem, when the division takes place, we see the mixture of an int and a double. In both of those cases, double division will be used. If we look carefully at examples 1 and 3, when the division takes place, we're looking at strictly integers. So integer division is going to take uh, over. Okay, let's try like another one here and let's see if we have kind of a hang of it. All right, so what if, what if I change this around just a little bit, okay? And this time I say 5 times 2, and I divide by 4. If I were to leave it alone just like this, okay, these are all integers. This doesn't even matter. This is going to be integer division. This is going to be 10 divided by 4. It's going to print 2 on the screen. If I change any of these numbers to a double, I should see 2.5. The only exception would be if I were to make this number a double and then put parentheses around the two-fourths. That's about the only way I could get a zero out of this.